Good morning, students and staff of St. John's Academy. Today is Monday, November 22nd. Welcome back to school. Uh, this is going to be a very uh, short week as uh, Thanksgiving, of course, on Thursday and, and no school on that day or Friday of this week as well. So just three days of school uh, means we have a lot to get in and uh, it's going to be a great week though. Uh, with the new week, we have announcements at the beginning of the week and, uh, of course, our virtue for the week. Uh, Announcements-wise, uh, just a few. Just a reminder that on uh, Tuesday, we will have our all-school mass in the gymnasium led by our third graders uh, at 845. So in the Zebedee Center this Tuesday, it's our only mass uh, at 845. Remember the dress code. And... Um, we will have that followed by adoration with benediction at 2.30. Also, uh, on Wednesday, a note to our teachers that Father Pfeiffer is here. So both Father Pfeiffer and, and Father Lorson will be available for classroom visits this Wednesday. Uh, additionally, uh, our girls basketball team has a game today, right? Home game today, so good luck to them. And... I uh, just would like to say thank you to those band students that performed yesterday at the 1030 Mass. You sounded great, uh, and it was a, a wonderful addition to um, the Mass yesterday. Thanks to Deacon Jeffrey for organizing that, and uh, good job, students. Well, with that being said, it's time to uh, discuss this week's virtue, uh, which is courtesy. And so let's take a look at the definition of courtesy. Courtesy, treating other people with respect, recognizing that all are made in God's image and likeness. Courtesy is a virtue I think that we all can uh, easily understand and, and grasp. It's one that we have been on both sides of where we have practiced it well uh, and times where maybe we could have uh, been more courteous to other people and we have also experienced those opportunities where where people have been uh, courteous to us and when they haven't and we think about those times and how that made us feel uh, when someone did something nice for us opened the door picked something up um, went out of their way to be kind uh, and considerate and uh, how that made us feel right and, and how did we feel when, you know, maybe the simplest of things somebody didn't do or, um, you know, we didn't do for another? And uh, I think it's easy to identify that uh, why Christ would like us to grow in this particular virtue. I was thinking on the way in as we t discuss these virtues, uh, you know, why, why is it uh, important for us to take a look at these, to ask for uh, God to bestow his grace on us so we can continue to grow in each one. And, and the answer that came to me was simply, um, God loves us and he wants us to um, be able to uh, live life to the fullest. He wants us to have the, the uh, tools, so to speak, to fulfill those two great commandments, right? To love him with all our heart, mind, and soul, uh, with all our strength and to love our neighbors, we love ourselves. And as we grow in these virtues, we grow in our ability to do both of those, right? Uh, as we are courteous to someone else, we are loving Christ because Christ loves that person just as much as he loves us. And we're loving that person um, by giving them our time, giving them our thoughts, our energies, going out of our way to show Christ's love for them. So uh, just two thoughts for you here as, as uh, we go through this short week. Uh, a challenge for you would be, can you find a way each day, uh, even through Thanksgiving and the days that we don't have school, to do one thing that is courteous, uh, to practice that virtue of courtesy, uh, one at least once a day. Now think about that, and it could be here at school, it could be at home, uh, but let's see if we can't each uh, of us find a way to practice, go out of our way to practice this virtue. And I bet it will make a big difference um, in our school, in our home life. It just changes those relationships uh, as we share Christ's love with one another. 
All right, let's begin our week in prayer. And today, I'd like to say a glory be with you. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Let's take a moment now to pause and pray for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. St. John the Apostle, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's stand now, place our hand over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all well great job everyone i hope it's a, a great week for you uh, wish you all a very happy thanksgiving and um, let's practice these virtues ask ask not only practice them but each night um, and every morning as we say our prayers let's ask for christ to help us grow in not only the virtue of courtesy but all of these virtues that we're discussing throughout the school year as we aim to be saints. Have a great day.